Well, good morning, Interbet fans, and welcome to the uh, Gravel Race Meeting on the Poly Track Monday, the 26th of April. And um, after an extremely successful day yesterday, where um, certainly we find a couple of really good winners, uh, let's hope that the good form continues. And I um, really enjoyed the cricket, uh, super over game, and uh, the right team won uh, the Delhi Capitals. I was surprised Rabada bowled so badly the last over, but there you go, he let the uh, Sunrisers in. And we've got more cricket today and tomorrow, and um, very interesting to watch what's going on. But let's get back to the uh, racing, and we've got an eight race program 12.45 quarter to one in the first race. 1200 meter and it's a maiden plate the the right horse here and the hot favorite is give me a rainbow is he as effective over 1200 meters as a thousand well that's a big chink in his armor but he gets lyle uh, he's got the form everything seems in his favor the horse that i like as a real good each way bet and a couple of the each ways arrived yes at very big prices uh, King Cyrus. Uh, I think this horse is absolutely cherry ripe, third run after a rest, and he's good enough to win a maiden of this type. So he goes into everything that I do uh, and certainly goes into the bipod. Master Dancer, uh, certainly suited by the course and distance, improved last run, and get Sean Veal, who the horse obviously gets on well for, certainly his profile shows that. So they look like the three. Prince Vian, the two year old, well, he gets blinkers and. Um, he gets Makota, he gets a ride because Anton's not riding today and I um, suppose he's got some sort of chance. Race 2, maiden plate, 2,000 metres. I made an absolute two-cornered contest. Papillon, uh, proved last two runs and Wayne Grill, I think, will suit this horse very, very well. Uh, ran well for him last time. She's uh, quite a ha complicated a handful. And then Simply Complicated is Simply Complicated. She should have won a long time ago, but she hasn't yet. And um, she gets a chance. Richard Foree jumps aboard her. Um, certainly a good last two runs, and she should actually be a good thing, which she's priced up to be seven, eight to ten. Um, Danger Hiroshima. Duncan Howells' runner gets Luke Ferraris number six on the card. Goes into everything. The Blinkers improved it last time, and maybe they'll make a difference again today. But uh, simply complicated, hard to go against. Race three. Uh, this is a handicap. Phillies and mares, two thousand meters. And my top choice here is Mission Beach. Uh, gets a blinker, has got very good form. I think um, she'll go very well. The dryer team has come to a bit of form. They won yesterday with tonight's fight night. Uh, and I would think that this horse will be hard to beat here. But there, if you're looking for the rest of them, Kulapachi obviously comes into the race with a chance course and distance winner. There's lots of other course and distance winners, including Golden Duck and... Um, so let's have a look. Legend has it, likes the course, jockey and horse, very good. Uh, Parkdale goes into everything that I do, second run after rest, but will improve and certainly goes well on the course. And if it gets to the front, it uh, could be very difficult to peg back. Uh, Randolph will give her a good ride. Capriccio, got to have a chance. Hewitson rides us now for Paul Gatsby. And uh, then Kathy, Chatty Cathy loves a poly and gets a four kilogram claimer. It's got um, now 54 six to carry that will help her and good girl just won a maiden so extremely difficult race mission beach is my top choice but there are a number of others race four uh, there's a merit rated handicap 1800 meters and i really like sea sponge if it wasn't second run after a rest i thought that this horse would be absolute homer but then there are a lot of things that come into play so the horse that i found in the race is nine smart socks uh, Tristan Godden for Tini Prince This horse loves the poly. Ignore its last start. It will go well here. Um, Viking Red, another one, loves the poly. He's won all four wins on the poly. Gets Sean Veal. Uh, Got to go close. Um, King's Cove on collateral form lines. He's been running on. He's got to improve, and Stuart Randolph gets a chance on him. So a number of horses got chances if you look past C Sponge, and I'm going to put quite a few horses in uh, the pick six and the bipod. Race five. Uh, Merit rated uh, 63, and uh, this is another difficult race, but I've narrowed it down to four horses. Two not now, Pussycat, course suited, uh, good form, Sue Randolph again, uh, Belt Jar, very good win last time, no reason why she shouldn't go and win again. She only got a, a kilo penalty, and I thought she won ex readily. Royal Kitty, we find her on the uh, during the week last week, and she 
just got touched off. She, I thought she was a bit unlucky and she would have made a very big difference to the day that we had. Had a good day, but we would have had an exceptional day if she had won. She was a very big price. Right, and then uh, what else is there? So the other horse that I found is Tombola, number nine. On collateral form line, she goes into everything. She gets a very good jockey, Richard Foree, and uh, the blinkers go on her, so she gets a big, big shot here. Race six. Mary Ray is 64, they go 1,000 meters. Uncomplicated, looks like the right horse. It is a maiden winner. Uh, the time wasn't bad at all, but on times, uh, it's got to find a bit to beat horses like Duran, Naomi. Um, they perfect 1,000 meter specialists, and both of them will go well, five and six. But the find of the race is Charlie Fox, number two, eight to one shot. Gets a four kilogram claimer, and I think if he gets to the front, he might be very difficult to peg back with um, the 51 on his back. What are the rest then? Well, if Hampton Court gets in the race, he's the best horse in the race, and he's got 62 to lump. Uh, but at this stage, he hasn't got in yet, so uh, we'll just take that on trust. And Pacific Winter uh, certainly will improve with Jockey Danielson. Race uh, seven, merit rated fillies and mares, 1200 meters, and. My filly, Circe, back in play, and I think that she'll go very well here. If she gets to the front with Ryan Munger, she'll go extremely well. Uh, what are the horses that can win it? Uh, the two that I found that I thought could win it was Four Color of Light gets Lyle Hughes, and I think that's a huge jockey find. I think it'd be perfect for this one. And then Matadora's Parade, been running on, gets Keegan DeMello again. He knows how to ride her. And... Um, Patrick Lunn needs every winner he can find, and this may be another one for him. Uh, Duchess of Cornwall, be careful of her. If she gets to the front and able to dictate, she might just um, run and keep them all at bay. Race 8, uh, Merit rated 65, they go 1400 meters. I made an absolute two corner contest. I couldn't see past these two, and I go stick with them. Smart William, blinkers on. Uh, Jacobs gets to ride it. I saw, I saw Jacobs yesterday. Just jump out the pins and come straight across them from draw six or seven. Just he did one horse. He should get a. You can't ride like that. Um, he did did a horse. I think of uh, the Kennedy he was riding, and really uh, he should get a month. Yeah, a week's no good for guys. Guys that serial. He just decides to go across and he goes. I saw him the other day on a horse that was drawn twelve. Just go straight across the whole field. So. He's fearless, Jacobs, and uh, he will suit Smart William, gets the blinkers. Um, and if this horse fluffs his lines, higher purpose is the right horse. Third run after arrest, Warren Kennedy will go well on the track. Everything right about him. He's been gelded third run. My two favorites, Palace Wind and Royce uh, Fisco, well, they're both drawn in the bush, and that's going to be against them. I would have thought over the 1400 meters at Greyville, you've got to be extremely lucky to be able to win from there. So, from me, James Goodman, and the whole Interbet team, remember you can go on to the Vegas games. Uh, we've got a long time till the first race after you've listened to this and put together all your bets and your exotics and whatever. Have a great day, and um, I'll be back with you tomorrow.